Hi everyone, my name is Peter Pikalski. Today we will continue creating financial model of a pharmacy from scratch. Today we'll be talking about fixed costs. Um, and um, um, the interesting thing about our um, fixed costs is um, um, they can have some seasonal uh, colors. So for example, in winter we have one type of fixed costs, in summer we have another type of fixed costs. So we will just create the algorithm for seasonality, uh, um, for seasonality of fixed costs and I will show you how you can do that yourself. So if you find this video valuable, you may give us a like, subscribe our channel, share this video with your friends. Also you can order financial model from scratch for your business idea, we can help you with that. So um, how we can um, cope with uh, fixed costs? Um, we will start with, um, um, we will create a typical year. So we've created a typical year, then we Here we will place the list of fixed cost item. So here we will name all our fixed cost items. And some of them, for example, um, we'll do, for example, like this. So they will grow towards the summer, for example and then they will decrease. For example, like this. But the next group of fixed cost items, they will, for example, be um, in maximum in winter months. So they will decrease towards the summer. And increase towards the winter. So we have different seasonality inside fixed cost items. So these are the inputs, so we mark it with uh, specific colors. So this is uh, the input color for all our, um, for our model. So this is the input, this is the input, this is the input. So this color is, uh, goes with all our inputs throughout the model that we create. So we just make it simple values, copy, so have no side these cells. Um, so now we have to place all these values right from the moment when we start operating activity. And how we can do that? So we just copy the timeline.
So we will have just one preliminary step to get the final values of uh, fixed costs. So we will just do like this. So we will take this typical year. Then we will copy these values to the rest of uh, the years of our uh, financial horizon. And our next step will be cropping um, this period when we don't have operating activity. We, we must have our fixed cost starting with this moment. So we will copy the timeline. So we will take these values and multiply it on uh, a wonderful line. Create it uh, all. Uh, uh, I will give later the videos of the previous videos that we have operating activity start. So we will use this link. We will fix the line. Then we press enter. I extrapolate this formula from top to the bottom and from left to the right. And now our uh, fixed costs are done. So as you can see they start from May 2021. Like payroll like direct costs, like revenues, so we color this fixed cost, this group of lines with red because they will go to our cash flow statement as an expenses. So if we, for example, we want to start in June. Oh, let it be for example, September, okay. So we have September here. We have September in revenues. We have September in direct cost. We don't have to retype it many times. We have a direct, we have payroll starting in September, and of course we have a fixed cost starting with uh, September, with its seasonality that we've already created. So here we can adjust the seasonality. In the end, we will get new results. Looking later at the cash flow statement to see how much money we need to start, what will be the profit, what will be uh, the profitability, and so on. So uh, these were uh, fixed costs. Uh, if you find this video valuable, you may give us a like, subscribe our channel, share this video with your friends. Also, you can order a financial model from scratch for your business idea. So see you next videos. Thank you and bye.